Hi, so I literally got home about half an hour ago from finishing my last exam, so that's incredibly exciting and happy and ah. Uh, and so I'm going to Valencia in a week and I'm free and it's just exciting and I'm happy. Um, I'm sorry I didn't upload last week, exams took over my life and I turned insane possibly, so yeah, sorry. I was gonna go talk about last week's and this week's but I feel like it'll just be too long and kind of, I might be repeating points so I'm just gonna post an article um, in the description that I kind of makes, sums up a lot about how I feel about what I was gonna talk about, gender roles sort of thing. So yeah, I'll post it in the description. It's really, really good and stuff. Um, film adaptions. This is feels very relevant because uh, The Great Gatsby one, I'm sorry for pointing, um, The Great Gatsby trailer re was released yesterday and I'm an incredibly big fan of The Great Gatsby book but the film is not something I'm very, very excited about particularly for many reasons, mostly because it's just a very personal book to me and there's something about other people experiencing it <laughs> in the same way, I don't know, like in a film it's more presented to you I guess, I don't know, but also I really don't like Carrie Mulligan at all and she plays Daisy who I love even if you're not supposed to love her, I love her for some bizarre reason, I'm not excited about her playing her and I just, but I am really excited about seeing it because Baz Luhrmann is making it and he, his Romeo and Juliet is absolutely incredible, it's probably one of my favourite films so the fact that he's making it makes me really excited about it and that's my interpretation. So generally I really like film adaptions, I'm really a fan of them because I really like movies. I'm generally really in favour of them such as The Fault in Our Stars, The Perks of Being a Wolf. I'm so excited for their films and The Hunger Games I was really excited for that film and I thought it was brilliant. They definitely missed out things in my mind, mostly they just missed out like suspense a little bit, there just wasn't enough suspense in my eyes but you can't they didn't have that much time and I thought what they did and I think the acting and everything like that was amazing so I really liked The Hunger Games. Um, Harry Potter was a little bit different. I really 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 liked the Harry Potter films until they got to the last two. They were amazing, I can't deny that. I just thought they got a bit epic, a bit too many like crazy fight scenes and that was, I don't know, so, for some reason it just felt a bit epic in my mind, like it kind of made me laugh a little bit, like it was just so whoa in your face sort of which kind of always didn't seem like Harry Potter to me but maybe I was just wrong but mostly I get I don't know I just felt like the Deathly Hallows is my second favourite Harry Potter book other than the Goblet of Fire and for some reason it just kind of I was kind of just felt disappointed by the end of it a little bit like I don't know I was just maybe I was just really sad it was over so I couldn't like I don't know really what my interpretation of that is but I just the Harry Potter books were always so much better than the films to me. You know, I own all the films on DVD, so I'm not like not liking them or anything. I really like them. Um, but generally, I really like them. I think if a film is made well, it can pull you in just as much, in a, much as a book can in a really short amount of time using very good tech. Okay, so now I've finished my exams. I have crazy amounts of time to make videos, even though I'm going to Valencia next week. But anyway, um, I will see Nora on Friday. Goodbye.